What's up, P Nation? In this video, I'm going to tell you how I lost my phone on vacation and how I got a new one without a lot of hassle. So we don't normally do videos like this. Me and Lee are travel vloggers. We're normally going places. So if you're new here, please subscribe. But we're in Bangkok, as you can see. The king's about to be coronated in three days. It's a very exciting time. But now, let's get to the phone. Long story short, I was in Vietnam a month ago. I was in Halong Bay on a cruise, and I was in a kayak paddling through the water there. I was with Leo. We were having a great time. As you can see, the footage looks amazing. And I was getting out of my kayak, I got up and my phone was in my lap and it slipped into the waters of Halong Bay, went down 12 meters and the staff said it was unrecoverable. Even if they could get it, I don't think the waterproof resistant on the iPhone 8 would have kept it waterproof for that leap. So what do you do when you're on vacation? I'm kind of freaking out. I live a lot of my life on Instagram and everything's like not accessible anymore. So Leah and I have been sharing a phone for the past month. It's been a month now since I lost my phone. And the reason I waited so long to get a new one is because I wanted to do everything right. So there's a lot of different things happening and I'm about to tell you about each aspect of getting a new phone in a foreign country. So the first thing I had to find out was if phones in Thailand and China were made the same as phones in the United States. Short answer is iPhone makes phones differently in every single country. So the phone makeup wasn't going to be the same as the one I had in the United States. It might not work as well back in the US as the ones here. So once I figured out that I couldn't buy a new iPhone in Thailand or China, I had to get one in the United States. It would be a completely different process. So I decided to get the same phone I got before, the iPhone 8 Plus, and I bought it on Apple.com and I sent it to my parents' house. They then put a phone case in it that I recommended, put it in the same packaging, and took it to a FedEx Express shipping center. But the hardest part was researching where I could send it to, because me and Leah don't stay in hotels that are that nice, so I don't really trust hotel staff to keep my package. Was there somehow a FedEx that would hold it? There was a lot of calling to FedEx to figure out where the best place to pick it up would be. Once we determined the location, then my parents sent the shipment on a three-day shipment route to Thailand. So I picked Thailand instead of other countries because they have a less strict customs policy to get things through very smooth. And there was only one other problem. I'm only in Bangkok for three days. So if I didn't get the package in this time, I'm not going to be anywhere close to here for a long time and everything is going to be messed up. I probably won't even get this phone. Once my parents took it to the FedEx Center with the correct address in Thailand. It took three days to ship to Thailand and currently it says it's sitting in a facility in Thailand and Mia and Leah are about to go there and find out if it's really there. I don't know if it is but this is the best way to do things per all my research so let's go check it out. building anyways. We made it in the Lucas parking garage and now we're in the building. I have no idea if this is where the FedEx is. Oh my gosh, we made it here, but however they are closed today and it said that they wouldn't be closed until three days from now and the coordination happened. So I'm wondering, are they closed all week? Following that guy. Okay, so they're really nice. They let us in. They said they weren't gonna let us in, but then another guy found us. They let us in, so now we're here. Hopefully the package is here. I have no idea if I made it. I just can't believe they're helping us when they're closed. We got the package. It's here. It's all good. Everything was packaged perfectly. Look at that. My parents <gasps> even sent some new M&Ms. Ah! <laughs> we got the shipment. Everything's in there, including some M&Ms but we did have to pay a customs fee of $70. So if you are trying to ship anything international, be prepared for that extra on top. I researched this a little bit, but it didn't really help me at all. In China, it was a little bit more expensive, and in the Philippines, it'd be a little bit cheaper, but I wanted to get it at this time, so just be prepared for the customs fee. Other than that, we got everything. Thanks for watching this video on discovering how to get an iPhone in a different country. If you're new here, please subscribe, and make sure to smash that like button.